Hey, what's up guys? It's Mr. English here, and today I want to talk to you about Logitech's G610 Orion Brown keyboard. All right, so let me start off by saying the style of this keyboard is completely, completely breathtaking. And when I say breathtaking, I mean it, it looks really, really good. It's so simplistic. It doesn't have a lot of extra, you know, you know, extra stuff that that most that you will see most keyboards have. A lot of keyboards um, have extra buttons for extra things, and it's just so much to throw at somebody that you kind of get lost in why you even have the keyboard in the first place. And I like how they kept it very, very simplistic. It's it, it's very, very stylish. I love it. One of the main things that I really like about this keyboard is the illumination, the RGB lighting. And aside from that is the flywheel that's used in the upper right hand corner, which allows you to adjust the volume on your computer. It's right there, it's at your fingertips, and you don't have to do anything else with your mouse and anything like that. You just go in and you can completely change it right then and there, up or down. And it's very, very effective. It's very, very convenient. And I love that about this keyboard. Second, uh, like I said, the RGB lighting on this keyboard is amazing. You can use the software again to customize your lighting. Uh, for instance, for example, I have a profile set for Dota 2 and I have the uh, the buttons that I use specifically for that game highlighted in a specific color, in a color scheme. So I will always know whether I'm getting up, sitting down, or whether I have the light off or not. Those keys will always be illuminated when I activate that game. Um, same thing for like something like um, Dark Souls 3 or first person shooter. You can have certain keys, set certain keys to illuminate certain colors so that you know what they are um, and color coordinate. That is one of the amazing things about this keyboard. And a third thing that I would like to point out is the key functions and the feedback. Mechanical keyboards are amazing. Uh, this is nothing short of that. Touching the buttons subtly will maybe get you some feedback, but when you press a key, you absolutely know that you're pressing it and it's not a false response. So it does have great feedback. The keys aren't very hard to press down. It doesn't require a lot of pressure. And that's what I want to get across is that they've done an amazing job tuning this keyboard, not only for gaming, but for the daily driver. Um, and that's equally as important because yes, you do want a good feedback controlled keyboard with button presses when you're gaming, but you don't want it to be too overpowering while you're using it as a daily driver when you're browsing. So they've done a really, really good job balancing the keyboard. I'm in love with it. As you can also see with the G640 mouse pad, you can also go into the software and edit your trackability with the mouse that you're using from Logitech, which is really, really cool. And it comes in really, really handy. Um, but all three of these together are gonna make my workflow and my daily driving very, very smooth, very efficient, and no longer do I have to use a small five by four crappy flimsy <laughs> mouse pad anymore. Um, they've upgraded me in a big way and I'm very, very thankful. So if you guys like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.